Kevin Garnett seems to be sick and tired of hearing bad things about Russell Westbrook, so he took matters into his own hands and tried to send Russ some good luck. The former NBA MVP has been getting a lot of criticism for his play with the Los Angeles Lakers after a rough start to the 2022-23 NBA season. Also, Kendrick Perkins sends a big warning to Russell Westbrook. This and a lot more is in the video for today. First, a reminder about our brand new giveaway. We're giving away a PS5 with a copy of NBA 2022 and Madden 22. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, and make sure you're subscribed. It's that simple. Starting off, the Los Angeles Lakers were up 98-90 when Russell Westbrook checked back in the game, and then the Portland Trailblazers went on a 16-6 run to win 106-104. Russell Westbrook's nightmare in Los Angeles just doesn't seem to end. Even a month ago, there was some hope that this season might turn out well for Russ, but things have only gotten worse. He has been terrible the last couple of games, and the loss to the Blazers seemed to be his lowest point. He didn't play well and made a bad choice when, with 18 seconds left on the shot clock and the Lakers ahead by one point, he decided to take a pull-up jump shot. Fans were done with him after his most recent mistake, but it's possible that play wasn't the only way Russ cost them the game. When Westbrook was taken off the court in the third quarter, the Lakers were down 74-72, but they turned things around after he left. When Russ finally got back on the court with just under five minutes left in the game, they were ahead 98-90 and seemed to be in charge. Reddit user UstephZH pointed out that after that, the Blazers won 16 of the next six games. When Russ was on the court, LA's offense just didn't work right, and the Blazers completely took over down the stretch. In those five minutes, Damian Lillard scored 10 of his game-high 41 points, and newcomer Jeremy Grant made the game-winning layup with three seconds left after LeBron failed to send the game to overtime at the buzzer. James had another great game, but the Lakers blew it. He ended the game with 31 points, 8 rebounds, and 8 assists. Anthony Davis had a good game except for one bad shot. He scored 22 points and grabbed 10 rebounds for his first double-double of the season, but no one else really stood out, which is why they lost. Russ only had 10 points, 6 rebounds, and 6 assists, and he only made 4 of 15 shots from the field. Their bench is still having trouble as they only scored 19 points in the game. The Lakers bench has only averaged 20.7 points per game through their first three games, which ranks them in the bottom three in the league. They need to start playing a lot better if the team wants to do well this season. Well, Kevin Garnett says he's praying for Russell Westbrook amid crises with the Lakers. The purple and gold came into this season ready to prove their doubters wrong, but so far they've had a hard time getting things going. And as usual, everyone has been mad at Russell Westbrook. Well, some people still like Brody and are calling out those who don't, hoping to help Westbrook keep his confidence, which he doesn't seem to be losing. Russ Westbrook has had a rough start to the season, but Juan Toscano Anderson showed his support for him over the weekend, and LeBron James wouldn't say anything bad about him after the Trailblazers game. Kevin Garnett is the latest player to show his support for Westbrook after a rough start. The big ticket sent Russ a message in which he said he would pray for Russ's health and gave the point guard some advice. KG agrees with Charles Barkley that the Lakers have taken Westbrook's joy out of basketball, so he sent him some words of encouragement. Man, I'm gonna pray for him, Garnett said. Russ, keep your head up, man. I know how bad this stuff can be. It's been a long time. Find your love and your passions, man, no matter what you have to do. Start over and remember why you're doing this. Even though bad things keep happening to Westbrook, it's good to see that he still has the support of a lot of people in the league. He keeps getting talked about in trade rumors, but he has stayed strong and is ready to go. It doesn't look like he'll get his revenge this season, but Westbrook needs to show something different if he wants another chance next summer. Amazingly, Russell Westbrook made history as the least contested jump shooter in the NBA since 2013-14. Even though shot quality metrics say that Russell Westbrook has taken the most open shots this season, he's only made one three-point shot. Kevin O'Connor of The Ringer looked into this and found that Westbrook is facing the lowest rate of defense in NBA history. Teams just let Russ shoot wide open shots because they know he will miss. Through the first three games of the season, Russell Westbrook's jump shots have been blocked only 41.2% of the time. Second Spectrum says that this is by far the lowest rate of contests in the history of NBA tracking data, which goes back to 2013-14. Well, that's not pretty much it. In comparison to Westbrook's 41.2% contest rate, only Joaquin Noah, 48.7% in 2013-14 with the Bulls, and Andre Roberson, 48.8% in 2016-17 with the Thunder, have had less than 50% of their jump shots contested. This season, Nuggets forward Aaron Gordon's 60% contest rate is the second lowest in the league, right behind Westbrook's 45% rate. Even though Westbrook isn't a great shooter, the fact that he is this bad is a huge problem for the Lakers. The Lakers might need to trade Westbrook in order to get other shooters. From where Russ is, it doesn't look like he'll be able to do anything. The Lakers will be better off if they traded Westbrook for some roster depth that might work well with LeBron James and give them a chance to make the playoffs. Moving
moving on, Kendrick Perkins sends a big warning to Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook has been getting bad press for a long time, and every day things get worse for the former NBA MVP. He hasn't had a good time with the Los Angeles Lakers. He's been criticized for his bad play, bad decisions, and the fact that he can't shoot the ball to save his life. On Monday's episode of ESPN's First Take, Kendrick Perkins, who used to play center for the Oklahoma City Thunder, talked about this situation. The former NBA champion sent Westbrook a very important message. First, he told Westbrook that the Lakers are out of options and should send the player back home. When I come up here and actually do my job, this is the hardest part. I have to work, and here's the thing. Is Russ getting worse? Absolutely. Has it gone down? Yes. This offseason, Rob Palinka should have dealt Russ. What the? We heard Devin Ham talk about how Russ's behavior is becoming cancerous for the team. What do you do now? He goes back home. You send him home until you find someone who wants to trade for him. Right now, you can't keep bringing him into the locker room because he'll lose his cool. Perkins also said that if he doesn't change something on the Lakers or wherever he goes next, nobody will try to give him a new contract, and Russ could be out of the league when he can still help a lot of teams. Westbrook and the Lakers need to figure out what to do or else things will get much worse for them. Many people thought that Brody would get help from Darvin Ham's arrival, but nothing's happened yet. In fact, we're seeing the first signs that the player and the head coach might not get along. Finally, Austin Reeves will start for Lakers instead of Russell Westbrook against Nuggets, and this change could continue going forward, says Shams Charania. Tonight, the Los Angeles Lakers will play the Denver Nuggets. Russell Westbrook will not be able to play because he hurt his hamstring. Shams Charania, who knows a lot about the NBA, said that the team will start Austin Reeves instead of Russell Westbrook. He also said that this could happen again in the future. I've heard that Russell Westbrook won't be able to play tonight. Sources have told me that Austin Reeves will likely start tonight instead of Westbrook. Reeves worked with the first unit in practice yesterday. He has started some preseason games. The Lakers could keep doing this depending on how tonight's game goes and how they feel about the rotations with this starting unit in the future. I've heard that Darvin Ham and Russell Westbrook have been working together to find a solution and figure out how he can best help this team. From what Shams Charania said, it's clear that the Los Angeles Lakers are ready to bench Russell Westbrook if it will help them win more games. Before this announcement, Darvin Ham had refused to bench Russell Westbrook. Analyst Skip Bayless famously said that Ham is afraid of Westbrook and criticized the coach for starting Westbrook and letting him play at the end of games. Unfortunately, guys, that is all the time we had for today. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Till next time, cheers!